Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today's the day that starts the part of the course camp where we're late, like we're late. Hurry up, so. Sophie's moving slow today. She's a bit stiff, she's a bit sore. Okay, because she fell off yesterday. For any of you guys who are saying, why would you guys all make a big fuss of it? We just mom, laugh at our barn. My mom thought that Fiona made the oh! yeah. sound. <laughs> Somebody screamed when she fell. If it was mom, yeah. I saw it her. Me, if that was um, anyways, we did make fun of it. We did laugh. We did laugh and we did joke um, a few minutes after after she felt better. At first she was really upset and we didn't know what was going on. So of course we took it seriously, but then we all did laugh and tease her. Right, Soph, did we tease you? <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> anyway, off to horse camp. Let's go. Are you ready? Go. Go. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on, you can do it. It's the getting up from the... You got your cowboy boots? Yes, can you please grab them for me? I noticed that all the kids are trickling in a lot later today because you know it's hump day you guys it's the day where you're tired of getting up every day but I know a lot of you guys have gone back to school already in Canada you guys always get off a lot of you guys get off way earlier than us so we go back two weeks later than you guys we don't go back till the 4th of September anyway hope you guys all are excited and enjoying the first part of your school year I am almost ready to go and pick up the girls from camp. I can't believe they only have two more days left. Anyway, I got so much work done. Like, so much work done. Can't yeah, actually tell because it's all been like this kind of work. So, um, essentially, Sophia is all set for school. Um, oops. These are all of her, these are her writing books. These are all her notebooks, her geography book, all the geography stuff she'll be learning this year. She's doing maps. Um, her math, which is like her biggest book. All her math stuff. She's got more handwriting to do, uh, grammar, and reading comprehension, um, as well as some other things. That was a huge process. It just looks like she's got some books. Yeah, woohoo. But it actually took a lot of me getting stuff together and organizing it and figuring out what she needed to do today. Um, I have this huge process that I do. I ordered Gabby's books, so they will be coming soon. It took me over an hour to get her um, work done, and I'll show you one of the things that I do. So I take a book like this. This is the book that I um, will get all of my stuff, like my stuff that I will laminate and use for a class. For example, we'll use all of these um, days of the weeks and months of the year and all the numbers and stuff. I will laminate them and then we'll use them on this calendar um, and then I'll have the girls take turns setting up her calendar each month. It's a big huge one. Um, so basically what I do is I, I rip the book apart, take the whole spine off and then I'm able to rip the pages out of the book like that and then I can use um, organize all the pages to the ones I'm going to use ones I'm not going to use put them in a different order and laminate the ones that I need to laminate um, some of these will be their reading logs and some of them some of these will be their centers and all that kind of stuff so that's how I do that it takes me a long time because I have to do it with several books and for both girls also our old office slash foyer is all cleaned out. So, um, well not all cleaned out because this shoe thing is, I don't know. I'm gonna organize something completely different here this year. Maybe this will go, maybe I'll paint this and put it in the uh, spare room for Schleich because that would be awesome if I got more buckets and then they all had their own. I love it when a plan just comes to me like that. But anyway, the dogs are in this room now. I just put them in bed because I'm headed to the barn. Also, I was able to uh, um, start this room. This is Nick's old room, you guys. He left it so nice and clean, so good of him. I brought up our, I brought the bed out of the attic that's gonna go in here. It's a trundle bed. 
Uh, it's a trundle bed, it's also a day bed. So what a trundle bed is, is that it has like a single bed, it looks like a couch kind of, and then a bed underneath pulls out if you need it. So so when Brooklyn and Jacob here I are here, I'll have two beds for them, so that's super cool. The rest of the room is going to be a Schleich room, but I also have green screen that I can put behind the bed um, and make it like a nice sitting area for the girls and I to do videos on, which I'm excited about. I also have a lighting kit that can come up here and a bunch of YouTube stuff. I have a microphone, I have a table if we need it. I have like so much stuff that I can put in this room, which is amazing. I know, you guys are thinking, wow, you are on fire today. You got so much stuff done. I did, and I even got the house mostly cleaned up. And I also got a roast in the oven. I got a roast in the oven. I'm not in love with cooking, but I did get a roast in the oven. Wow. Looks like it's been a busy day at camp. You fell again? Yes. Are you okay? There's something on the back of Sophia's pants. It's brown. I don't even want to guess what that is. So you have to change your pants when we get home. Why? You have something brown all over you. Yeah, my car is a mess. We were supposed to ride uh, Stella today, but everybody was too tired. So um, we have to ride her five days. We've already ridden her two days, so we just have to make it up on another day. But so it's good for her to have a day off. So. I'm good with that. Anyway, especially since we were riding like all morning. Oh, we got to ride um longer than an hour because um there was more people in our group. It was Molly and Chloe. So uh, somebody did a record today. I'm not mentioning any names. <laughs> What'd you do? I jumped a two foot oxer and two foot course with an oxer in it. She jumped a whole entire course of two foot verticals. Uh, Hartley said no. She was a little nervous, but she did it all, and Fiona videoed I said no. it. Twice for the oxer. Yeah. It's high, and I've never ever jumped it. Yeah. Plus, I went from like that high oxers to that high oxers. Yeah, amazing. And what'd you do? Jump. Sophie did little jumps. How come? Um, because my back was killing me. Yeah, she's still sore. She's sore because she fell last night and she's just sore. Here we are
let it hold me down Try this would be way easier for you. He's bouncy, so he bounces you out of the Click, click, Every time you rise, click. So go. One click every time you rise. <laughs> what? Thank you, Sophie. I don't hear anything either. <laughs> He won't. You go. No, just one. That's it. Keep that momentum going. Hands a little closer together. Tap, tap with your whip. Tap your whip. Thank you. I don't think I can yell any louder than that. You dying? Yeah. Good, yeah? Yeah, I guess. Hands together, loosen your inside ring. Inside. You're pulling him off the rail, that's all. That looks good. All right, two points. Put your knuckles on his neck. You're going to grab a little bit of hair, so if you fall backwards, you can pull on the hair and not his mouth. And you're going to lean on his neck, so if you fall forward, he can stop you. Heels on the ground, bum in the air. Pull your shoulders up and back. You're basically just standing up with a little bit of a bend. No doubt, take a breather. Fall lead, come back to a walk. All the way to the walk. Right leg, kiss and go. Tap, tap. Back to the walk. Make him walk, lean back. And can. Yeah, got it. Stretch your heels down. Hands forward. There you go. Hands forward. Bless you, Mr. Blowdo. Very nice. Pull your toes up. Elbows straight back, pull hard. Make him listen. Yeah, give him a pass. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are done. All right, so uh, hold on. I cannot handle two horses and 45,000 people. It's been a crazy day. Gabby cut her hand. Sorry. <laughs> Gabby cut her hand. Thumb. Sophie fell. No, Stella. <laughs> Tried to walk Stella through the water. She said no. It was raining. And we took Storm and text down. Yeah. And Storm literally did this for the whole walk. Because he hates rain in his face. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a baby. He's a he's a he's a princess. It's raining a little now. Horses are tired. Stella's excited to go back because she knows she's getting food. We need to walk along 
All right, so Gabby's trying to manage two horses. Storm decided to eat grass. And as you can see, Storm hates the bridge. He will not go to the other side. Only one horse can go on each side, you guys. All right. Good boy. I need to walk him go up. Go ahead of me. Go ahead of me. Stella. No. No grass. Oh my gosh. You get me in trouble. You get me in trouble. Even though that little tiny bit of grass, you deserve it because you're such a good girl. Got the boys in the front. And the girl in the back. I love this horse, you guys. The reasons that I love her. One, she is so sensitive. Like, she is so sensitive, you never ever have to use your legs. You just have to think what you want to do. And if she's confused, she tells me she's confused. And, like, I feel like I could talk to her. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I can tell when she's like, I don't know what you want. And she doesn't like just go off all crazy when she doesn't know what I want. She asks me, like, what do you want? That's something I've never experienced before her. Also, I love her because she's not super slow. I don't know, she's just amazing. And the thing that I love the most about her, but makes me feel the worst about her, is that she'll do anything that we ask, even if it's to her disadvantage, and even if it's something she doesn't want to do because she's sore, or because she doesn't want to do it, she always does it. Like, she's just amazing, and she listens so good. I feel like we got super blessed with her, you guys, like, for real. Guys, I'm saying goodbye to Stella in her stall here, or in her pen. I want to know if you guys can see anything crazy in the trees. There may be a stalker horse. You may not be able to see him. You guys see? Comment below. Who's the horse hiding in the trees? To be honest, the horse hiding in the trees actually loves Stella. They're not, they're not next to each other in any way, shape, or form, I swear. Horses just know. They like, like each other or they don't. And Storm and Stella don't. But this other horse always is really close to Stella and really likes her. So comment below. I'm going to put it on Instagram and see if you guys can spy the horse in the trees. I'm just waiting for Storm to have his supper. Gabby's in the barn with him. And then he's going to be put out in, the, in, the, in his paddock. But um, Gabby had to pee. We walked all the way down here. My kids just do not go pee. Like... They'll hold it all day and then I'll say, okay, I need you to blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden they have to pee so bad. And you can tell they have to pee because they're like, could hardly walk. So anyway, we are walking Spencer, uh, Stella and Storm. And Gabby's like, oh, I have to pee right now. Like I can't go another step. You have to hold them all. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to hold them all and I managed and I, it was a bit scary, but I just had to keep Storm preoccupied because he's kind of like a two year old. Like he, Stella has the patience of a saint and Storm has like zero patience, kind of like his owner. Anyway, I was chewing my gum and he was looking at me and looking at me and he turned his head whoop, and licked my face because he loved the smell of my gum and he wanted my gum. He just went whoop, and licked my face and that has never ever happened to me before. And I was like, uh, <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even wipe all the yuck off my face because I had all my hands held, holding lead ropes, making sure nobody was gonna fight each other. But yeah, that happened. That happened to me. It is the first time. And a year ago, I would have been so disgusted and so upset. And this time, I just laughed and laughed because it was so funny. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.